in a sense, when you're living in the village, um, the pit villages, all had long gardens behind the house, in a sense, I suppose the coal owners gave you the land so your father could grow vegetables to supplement the meagre wages they got. And uh, we had a garden about 40 yards long. And uh, I got an interest in roses when I was about eight. And uh, I asked my dad if I could have a piece of land to grow them. So he gave me about four or five yards at the bottom of the garden. And with the money I earned from doing jobs, I bought roses from Andersons of Aberdeen because I was told if you're going to get roses, buy them the farthest north you can go because the temperature will be all the better. So I bought roses and I planted them. <coughs> I became, I suppose, a junior expert in it, a minor expert. Um, and I just loved them. And uh, I tried to graft my own rose by buying the, 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 the brack, the, the, the raw rose, and cutting it and putting in the bud. But I was never successful, but I always had this interest in roses. Even when I left the village and I moved on, I got married, whatever house we bought, I always had roses from Anderson's Labadine. <clears throat> and so um, the rose garden was always there in my mind. And when I bought Winyard, this house, I found the old drawings of Lady Frances Anne of her Italian rose garden, <clears throat> and not far from this hall. So I looked at it, oh, this is wonderful. You know, here's a chance. So I thought, well, I've got the opportunity now to do my own rose garden. <clears throat> so I started putting it together. And uh, it was going to be quite a show, about 3,000 roses. And I got prostate cancer. And I had to sort of uh, put the dream to the side for a bit. But fortunately for me, my daughter, Alison, took up the challenge. And together, we produced the rose garden, the TNL. So there's always going to be a little bit of North Seaton Colliery here in the stately home at Winyard. And I sort of smiled at myself when that happened. But it's lovely. It's a wonderful rose garden and it fulfills a dream of mine.